All right, hey everybody. So I got a 2019 Honda Fit and I'm doing the CVT transmission fluid on this thing. So um, the fill plug is just under here. You can remove all this, but uh, I got small hands. I can actually reach in there and pull the plug out. There you go. There's the plug, right? So I'll just leave it up on top of the battery. And uh, yeah, make sure you put that back. Um, yeah, so down there, that is where you will be filling it. If I can get it focused. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, went super bright. Why is it doing that? There you go. So once you uh, pull that plug out, your level check is right there. And that should be a 17 millimeter. Right, so you know how much I like these Honda Fits and uh, how easy they are to work on. And uh, this Honda Fit, this is a 2019, it's uh, direct injected. And your direct, inject direct injectors are just right here. You can just remove it, pop them out, and uh, you don't even have to take off the intake manifold. Super easy to do. So I think I've uh, replaced maybe a couple on a uh, couple of Honda Fits, but not not very many of them. And if you want to, you know, clean the intake valve from all the carbon, this intake manifold comes off really easy. All right, killing two birds with one stone. I'm also doing an oil change on this thing too. Uh, your drain plug for your CVT transmission is right here, and then from underneath, uh, that level check is right here. Uh, so that drain plug is like every other transmission on the uh, Hondas for their drain plugs is 36 foot-pounds and this one would be uh, 32 foot-pounds for uh, tightening it. So yeah, once uh, this thing stops draining, I'm gonna use that bucket to drain the transmission fluid. So now the uh, engine oil is all drained. I'm gonna pull out the drain plug for the tranny. I'm just gonna get a splash. Yeah, it splashes. Yeah, it does. You get, you do get a little bit on the, uh, you know, splash shield. All right. So when you have the uh, drain plug out, make sure you clean off this, this stuff on the uh, drain plug. The, all the metal shavings and uh, put a new gasket on. All right. So it's time to fill it. And what I use is this funnel. It's flexible. Uh, make sure you don't touch the battery positive uh, in case you don't have this cover here, uh, or you're going to short yourself out. And uh, yeah, just run it and then it just snakes into that fill plug and you don't have to uh, remove that air box. So that's, uh, that's how I'm going to do it. So how much fluid you're going to need? Uh, you're going to need about four bottles because it takes about 3.6 quarts. And usually I just dump the whole four bottles in there and then when you level check it, just drain the excess and then you're done. Once you're done filling it up, just start up the car. And uh, usually uh, they want you to check it at operating temperature, but you know, when cars come in, they're already at operating temperature, so don't need to warm it up. Uh, what you're gonna do is shift it through reverse, wait three seconds, neutral, drive, S, L, and then back again. So yeah, and that's, uh, that's it. And then you check the level at that plug. Uh, and if you watched my last video about that water leak, so I got called up to the uh, to upstairs to uh, by the service advisor, and uh, I guess the customer wanted to talk to me because uh, he wants to make sure that water leak was fixed. And uh, yeah, I talked to him. He's a super nice guy and everything. I, sh I actually showed him my video on where the water leak was coming from and how it was getting inside the car. And uh, yeah, he was like, "That's that's that's." That's, that's that's great that you fixed it because apparently you had it um, at other other shops to fix that water leak and I guess they can fix it I'm like but it was pretty simple uh, I guess maybe they weren't trying so hard and you know usually you don't find water leaks on the back door so yeah I showed him my video and yeah so we got a new customer so he's gonna keep bringing his car for service here and uh, yeah we, we talked and you know how he had other Hondas he also had a Honda Fit and I had a Honda Fit and yeah, I guess we kind of connected and yeah, now we have a new customer. So yeah. So other than the, uh, you know, happy customers we get, uh, we also get angry customer. This is on the same day. 
this customer came in guns blazing into our shop and uh, I guess yelling at the very first person that she saw, which is by the entrance there. And uh, apparently uh, we, we lost her Honda wheel lock key. And uh, I said, that's impossible because we have everybody here has their own master wheel lock key set for Hondas. And also even, even we also have those splined wheel lock keys for your tuner nuts because they're pretty common, right? For your aftermarket wheels. And uh, yeah, so long story short, apparently she had her tires replaced at a, at a tire shop before she bought, bought her car here for service. But, you know, apparently since we were the last one to touch it, we, we lost her wheel lock key, right? But everybody has their own wheel lock key set for Hondas. So anyways, back, back to the, uh, the tranny fluid change. Um, yeah, so going to do the level check now. All right, so pulled out the level check and it's just trickling out. So once that comes to a slow trickle, I'm going to put that plug back in and that should be uh, it for the trans CVT transmission fluid change. Yeah, so if you liked the video, please like and subscribe and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.